I want to be equal in the eyes of my government. You know, I want to reap the same benefits that heterosexual couples do. Just because of who I love, I don't feel like I should be treated differently. God celebrates LGBT people. That's why God created us that way. We have access to a vocabulary that every person in society can understand. We can say we are married. Marriage equality. In March of 2014, the American Civil Liberties Union of Florida filed a lawsuit challenging the state's ban on recognizing the marriages of same-sex couples in Florida. Lindsay Myers and Sarah Humley were one of the eight couples represented by the ACLU in the lawsuit. We were the kind of plaintiffs that the ACLU was looking for to bring a suit against the state of Florida to recognize our marriage that was legal in D.C. but not legal in Florida. So that's why we sued the state of Florida for Sarah to be recognized on my insurance, to participate in my benefits, and of course for all the other benefits that come along with the legal recognition of marriage. There are 1,138 benefits, rights, and protections provided on the basis of marital status in federal law. Lindsay and Sarah were married in Washington, D.C. in 2012. Two life-changing events were presented to this young couple in 2014. We went from having these ideas that were principle-based as to why we wanted to be plaintiffs in that suit to actually having them kind of portrayed in our, in our real life. I was diagnosed with cancer, and so that really made it much more than principle based I guess in our life it was it was reality and it was an actual dire need that we wanted to have and um, and we were denied yeah and we couldn't have it because they wouldn't recognize our marriage on January 1st 2015 US District Judge Hinkle ruled that all Florida counties must issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples by the end of the day on January 5th 2015 Florida became the 36th marriage equality state. Judge Hinkle wrote, The institution of marriage survived when bans on interracial marriage were struck down, and the institution will survive when bans on same-sex marriage are struck down. Liberty, tolerance, and respect are not zero-sum concepts. Those who enter opposite-sex marriages are harmed not at all when others, including these plaintiffs, are given the liberty to choose their own life partners and are shown the respect that comes with formal marriage. Tolerating views with which one disagrees is a hallmark of civilized society. The ACLU and the Pensacola community celebrated this historic ruling. We're trying to debate, are we running to the courthouse tomorrow morning or are we... Um going to go ahead and schedule a big wedding and ceremony with friends and family, which we know we want to be there. Yeah. That's all we've ever really wanted, is to be like everyone else, to be able to marry, have that option to marry, and be called a married couple. And I've served in our military, and um, I thought don't ask, don't tell was a big issue, but I have to say this is um, probably mo the most important thing to me. I want to hear a shout for all the couples who are now finally married in Florida! Still recovering from surgery, Sarah was able to join her wife Lindsay on stage to celebrate. I only came here about three and a half years ago and decided to make Pensacola my home and decided to make equality in Florida my fight. Victorious in their battle for marriage equality and the fight against cancer, Sarah and Lindsay represented the ACLU and the LGBT community by lighting a unity candle for all married couples. At the end of this historic evening, all the couples that had already been legally married in other states and were now legally married in Florida gathered around a table to cut a wedding cake that simply read, Victory in Florida. The next day, January 6th, Reverend Jim Merritt and his colleagues performed 20 weddings at the Metropolitan Community Church in Pensacola, Florida. 
Reverend Merritt and his partner, Al Leach, also exchanged vows that day after waiting 20 years to wed in the state they call home. Yvonne Rosales, a disabled veteran, served her country while Don't Ask, Don't Tell was enforced. On this day, Yvonne and Shannon finally had the freedom to marry in Florida and be legally recognized by the state in which they reside. Your answer is I do. We've waited a long time for this day to be here. Um, honestly, words can't explain how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Shannon and Yvonne recently started a family in Pensacola. As we celebrate marriage equality in the state of Florida. Wade McLemore and James Blackwell met at MCC in Pensacola 16 years ago while singing in the choir. We've loved each other for 16 years, so the love has been there. Yeah. But now, finally, um, civically, we can be recognized and have the rights and privileges and responsibilities as a married couple. On January 6, 2015, Wade and James were legally married in Florida. On June 26, 2015, the United States Supreme Court voted in favor of same-sex marriage. Judge Kennedy wrote, No union is more profound than marriage, for it embodies the highest ideals of love, fidelity, devotion, sacrifice, and family. In forming a marital union, two people become something greater than once they were. As some of the petitioners in these cases demonstrate, marriage embodies a love that may endure even past death. It would misunderstand these men and women to say they disrespect the idea of marriage. Their plea is that they do respect it. Respect it so deeply that they seek to find its fulfillment for themselves. Their hope is not to be condemned to live in loneliness, excluded from one of civilization's oldest institutions. They ask for equal dignity in the eyes of the law. The Constitution grants them that right. While we celebrate these victories, there is still more work to be done. In 33 states, a same-sex couple can be married at 10 a.m., fired from their job at noon, and evicted from their rental at 2 p.m. under current U.S. law. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you want to do it again? I got nothing to add to that. <laughs> I mean, I don't have any like unusual reasons to be excited about marriage equality. It's like we want to be married. Right. Yeah. No, it's good. It was good. <laughs> I just said that we just want to be married. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. What's wrong uh, with that? <laughs>